it's like it's it's like anything you do. I mean, there's a training process in place. I mean, you don't you don't you don't start walking before you're crawling, and, and that's, that's, that's holds true for everything. I mean, if you're trying to do fight off so quickly something if it doesn't work it doesn't work like that there's a it's a slow process to get to where you need to be and it takes time and i mean when i brought on one of my other sales reps he first started out and he wanted you know he wanted sales right away oh i want to get sales like you i want to pick them up like like the way you're grabbing them i said well it, it takes time these people i've been hounding down for years and i'm just now starting to get mm -hmm. a little bit of an opportunity to quote their work not even get their work i quote and believe me i quote a lot of business and i don't mm -hmm. see any of it so it, it takes time they might be comfortable there could be a ton of factors why they don't want to make a change change is not easy for customers mm -hmm. to make especially when their job is on the line they go ahead and make a wholesale change and give the business to you and you basically stink it up what do you think is going to happen to them they're probably going to be out of a job so there's a lot at stake when they make these changes. It's not, it's a little different than, uh, than moving like, you know, a, just a regular skid that's, that they put out for quotes with uh, 50 different companies and okay, who comes in the cheapest? Uh, basically all the same, but mm -hmm. this is a little bit different. People, there's a little bit more at stake when you're talking about stuff that has high value and, and can't afford to be sitting on the ground. Exactly. I think that you, you also brought up a really good point, which is when you hired, when you hired your reps, you didn't expect them to bring in the volume that you were bringing immediately. And I think that's something a lot of people have like this weird misconception about, like they see their company scaling. They're like, I need to hire like a, like a sales rep or an agent or whatever you call it. And they're like, Oh, I hire this guy. And within like a couple of weeks, we'll start to see sales boom. No. it's not like that. And then they, they don't see the results immediately. They're like, this isn't working. We need to fire this guy. We need to find somebody else. And then you get this like turnover cycle that never stops and starts bleeding your company out. Big time. You got it. You, well, first of all, you got to hire the right people. You got to look mm -hmm. for the right qualities. I look for people that have the same qualities like me. Um, that, that's just what I prefer I, for sales because I know what it takes to go out there and, and, and hound and, and get, get sales and what it, what it requires to, make sure that the customer's happy. You just, you got to make sure that the guys have, in my opinion, they have a lot of qualities that I have. And I don't even know what those attributes are. I think Carolina's is probably trying to figure out what they are still, but uh, that's kind of what we look for. And I mean, obviously nobody always hires the right people all the time, but you learn. Um, mm -hmm. I hire, I might've hired the wrong people, but I've learned from that. And then that's what's important. You have to learn from your mistakes and get better at it.